Hola. Hey, Al, it's Mark. What's going on down there in San Diego, Mark? Not much, man. Tuna bite's pretty wide open down here in San Diego, though. What do you mean by wide open? Wide open. I'll tell you what. Get on a plane, get out here, and let me show you what a wide open tuna bite really is. Sound good? Uh, that sounds pretty darn good, man. Let me get on a flight. I'll be right there. I called Alex because the tuna bite has been hot this year again. Better person can I think of to get out here and rip some lips and catch some tuna. Number one reason I'm here is to spend more time with my good friend. And it just also happens to coincide with the most epic tuna bite going on in San Diego in some 25, 30 years. That's pretty special. If we can find a fish in that 20 to 30 pound class on a fly, we're happy. If we can find a fish in the 40 pound class, even better. If we can find a blue fin compared to a yellow fin, even better. Chasing fish, hunting for fish has become something that has um, consumed my life. This year has been pretty exciting because we've seen larger fish, fish that just don't stop, constantly kick, and kick your butt. I know that when I'm fishing with Mark, we're gonna be out there the entire time. We're gonna take every opportunity, we're gonna take every chance. We're only gonna be coming back when we have gotten it done. Oh, there he is. Go, go. And now we have only four days to make it happen. Four days of chasing what may be the most powerful fish in the ocean. Day one was a little bumpy. We got out on the water, um, definitely already white capping in the morning. Looks like the wind stayed on it uh, all night, and uh, it was a little rough. We went out and we were very fortunate. We found the fish pretty fast. We had to circumnavigate ourselves around the Navy vessel, but we had tuna busting all around the boat. We found a school of fish that literally stayed with us for two or three hours on the drift. You know, when you find the right yellow fin uh, to do that, it's, it's game on. Day one led into a pretty great wide open tuna bite. If you wanted to go ahead and make tuna fishing a little bit harder than it already is, hook two at one time. Try and get those at a boat. I would say all in all, day one was mission accomplished. Day two was an amazing day because it was one of those days where we just decided to go and say, I wonder what's way out there. We went out this day about 40 miles into the bluest blue water, into water that looked like it was purple. I knew getting outside, we'd find some patties, hold some different fish, yellowtail, dorado. Ah, hit it, hit it. Come on. 
on, eat it again. Oh, there's multiple. Come on. Go jump by the boat. <laughs> eat it like you mean it. Eat it like you mean it. found patty after patty of beautiful green, yellow, bright colored, big Dorados. <laughs> nice fish. These are nicer fish. Cooperative fish, I like it. Dude, these are slobs, dude. When it comes to catching Dorado doubles, it's a little chaotic. Just yet? Not quite yet. <laughs> wow, we didn't find our 200 pound tuna, and, which is probably a good thing. Um, we found an amazing little fishery going on all its own. We came back inside and got back on tuna like we'd done the day before. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. We got some serious drag on this thing going too. Come on, baby. I can't even move this thing. Oh, he broke. That was too much drag. That was too much. These are big fish. There he is. Say we waited a little bit longer, but we still found them on day two. Day three was our toughest day. Day three took uh, most of our morning looking for signs of life, trying to find fish. I think the fish were down, you know, the birds weren't working. Stay focused. Stay on target. Whenever Alex and I are fishing together and the fishing gets slow, I never really know what to expect. Mark and I like to write a lot of songs while fishing. Nothing that would ever make any money, but they're good, catchy tunes. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be smarter. I'm trying to work smarter. <laughs> good luck with that. Come on, Mark, you're not short. You're just not tall. Catch that? We did stick it out longer than anybody else did. And that always pays off. Ah! <laughs> day three was a long day. Uh, it was a pretty fun time. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Caught up in the hit and run. Hit and run. Yeah, tuna. Or is this run. just a hit is and run? Is this just a hit and run tuna? It, it doesn't matter where you're at in the day, you got to keep looking because those fish may be down and they may come up.
we did find them in the end, you know, later in the day, and in good class. Day three was, day three was good. You know, a lot of work, but we found them. Last day, day four, um, started out with a phone call, the last four days, and today was pretty special. I think of tuna fishing, I think it's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's an explosive fish. Very powerful fish. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the fish that can pull as much, if not harder, than you can. Good fish. Pulling as hard as you can. You're giving it everything you can. The rod is bent at an angle that you don't think rods can bend. And you have to keep going. <laughs> you have to keep pulling with that rod bent that way. Oh, it's really hard on my back. <laughs> it's mono e mono. And if, if you're ready for your, your hands, your knees, your back, your knuckles, your waist, your lower abdomen uh -oh. to ache, uh, then tuna fishing is for you. <laughs> the hardest part about tuna fishing on the fly and catch and release is the last 20 feet. Oh, there's the shooting head. This is the closest I've been. As soon as you get your fly line back, you've lost it once again. Oh, jeez. All right, enough talk, enough talk. Let's do this. Bluefin, baby. I knew I was coming out to fish with Mark. And that's something that I just love to do. Um, the fact that it went as big as it did, as grande as it did, with Dorado, yellowfin, big yellowfin to bluefin, that's pretty special. This will be another time, another experience in my life that I'll never forget. And then wrap it up by showing us your uh, secret handshake. What? All fishing buddies have one. We don't have a secret handshake. It's been fun, man. <laughs>